guys, welcome to another episode of MSK Coding. In this video, I will be doing a program. And I won't be telling you what the program is, because it's pretty obvious if you know what it's drawing. So you can just wait. And wait. And wait. I'll just cut to when this ends. And that is a chessboard. It might be like a little rotated, but this is my best take at doing a chessboard in Python Turtle. And so, if you watched last video, I made a square in Python Turtle using a loop. And this one uses a lot of loops, lol. So, this is a chessboard, and it goes black square, white square, black square, white square. It is row, and then, and then it fills everything in. And that is the real key to making this. So, if I go to chessboard.py. So, we import turtle, we use pen to wake up the display. Then we do def black square. Um, its argument is s, which means you have to put in s which is size in this case, or side length. Color black, pen color blue. That So you fill it with black, and the pen color, which is the turtle cursor color, will be blue. Begin fill, i equals one. While i is less than or equal to four, we did all of this because I explained all of that last um, video. But then it ends, and then it goes forward the s amount of times. I missed that forward s amount of times a lot before you know that, that was really what was causing a lot of bugs in the system white square is the exact same thing it's just color white instead of color black row is also taking s as an argument all of these two k equals one while k is less than or equal to four do black square or white black square and white square then increment k and so i guess it would really be white square black square but that's row two, and that is y square black square. Chess is L equals one, while L is less than or equal to eight. Row of S, pen up, set pause, zero, comma, minus L times S. What is set pause, and what is pen up? I haven't really explained those a lot, because I haven't explained them. So pen up just makes it stop drawing, Pen down makes it start drawing. But um, automatically it starts with pen down. Set pause just changes the position of the cursor. So minus L times S, basically once it's finished with this little row, it goes down over here and then it does the exact same thing. And it goes and goes and goes and goes and goes. And so I could have just done I like a four, <clears throat> and then just done that, but you would have to change a lot if you wanted to do that. So I like L plus one, I like L plus one. Then x is eval of input of give the side length of the square on the chessboard. Then you do chess of x. One thing is you always have to call the function if you're putting it in a program like that. So that is the chessboard.py. It looks very, very intimidating, but once you know how it works, it's very easy to understand. And so the way that it alternates, like black square, then white square, then black square, then white square for the rows, is because I put row and then row two. So that's how it alternates. And that is the big program. I spent a lot of time on this yesterday, and so I hope that you liked it, and I'll see you next time. But not without a little bit of showing off the program. So, I'll reset it right now. Reset. And then I can just run this once again. So I put a 50 for that. So not 
Yeah, the nodule. I can do a 15, and I can do that. And so the 15 just changes the size of the square. And so if you wanted to make um, a cool one, like changing the colors, you could make like the pen color red and like the black color yellow. It would, that would be weird, I haven't actually tried that. So we get this nice checkerboard pattern. And so yeah, that is it. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next episode. Bye!